guys, my name is Israel, but everyone calls me Srulik. I thought I would share a little story with you. A couple of weeks ago, I got a phone call from Mora Debbie. After we talked for a while, she told me she has a mission for me and I was urgently needed in Canada. Well, you know what they say about Israeli guys. When we are given a task, we will do it. So that's what I did. I went all the way down from Haifa, drove to Ben Gurion airport and got on the first El Al flight. With the cool captain, the co-pilot and some gorgeous looking flight attendants. Finally, I arrived here in beautiful Canada. After I landed, I went straight to Moradebi. Mm, well, maybe I made a little pit stop at Tim Hortons. Mm, that hot chocolate was delicious. And then I went straight to Moradebi. Um, no, I went to Niagara Falls and then I had to go to watch a hockey game because that's what all the Canadians are about, eh? I had so much fun at the game, I decided to take a couple of skating classes myself. Who knows? Maybe I'll be the next new Wayne Gretzky. From there, I met some old friends, some new friends. And some silent friends. And finally, I got here, the Puzzles Associated Hebrew School. Hi, Srulik. It's Mora Debbie here. You have a very important mission. You have to go research all of Israel's innovations in the area of medicine. Innovation? What's that innovation? What? You don't know what innovations are? Oh, all of the wonderful advances and the new experiments and the wonderful things that they've created in the area of medicine. It's pretty amazing, but you have to go do that research. Can you do that for me? Great. Innovation, innovation, I didn't know where to start. So first I went to the office. They are always so helpful. Hello guys, what do you know about Israeli medical innovation? Israel's medical innovations? I don't know anything about that. Israel's medical innovations? I don't know anything about that. Well, that wasn't very helpful. So I went all over the school and look what I got. Israel's medical innovations? 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 Very, very nice people, but didn't help me much. So I called a couple of friends. I called Ruthie, Menachem, Joshua, and Eitan. We searched online, went to the library, and found tons of information. O-M-G. There is so much information. There are so many Israeli innovations. I don't know where to start. So I went straight to Geveret Shulman to ask for help. שלום סרוליק, אהלן, מה שלומך? אורח מישראל, איזה יופי. גברת שולמן, can you please help me? Where can I find information about Israeli medical information? Google Pill Camp. Thank you, גברת שולמן. And that's what I did. I Google Pill Camp. And that's what I found. The PillCam ESO video capsule is specifically designed to view the inner lining of the esophagus. Once swallowed, the PillCam ESO travels through the esophagus by normal peristaltic waves, flashing 14 times per second, each time capturing images of the inner lining of the esophagus to identify potential abnormalities. We didn't try okay. it either. This is the actual pill. All right, Bo. 
Yeah, so this is the recorder that will actually store the video. Cool. Here's your pill cam. But I don't want him to. Okay. Okay. Let's hope so. All right, hey, Bob. Hey, can you take this? You ready? Open and swallow. You are the champ. Very yeah, good job. Yeah, that was good. Next station was Frank. Hey Frank, my man, what can you tell me about Israel's medical innovation? Israel's medical innovations? Check GE Healthcare. Focused ultrasound is a non-invasive, non-ionizing method of thermally destroying target tissue. Like a magnifying glass focuses the sun's energy on a single point. Focused ultrasound concentrates high-intensity energy on a target, causing ablation and cell death. This demonstration on a phantom gel shows how focused ultrasound energy affects one focal point only while sparing surrounding tissue. Focused ultrasound is readily absorbed by bone, a wide beam of focused ultrasound intersects the bone cortex, producing a broad area of heating at the periosteal margin. Pain-transmitting endocortical nerve endings are destroyed, providing pain palliation. Hello. Oh, hi, Mr. Lavner. Can you tell me anything about Israeli medical innovations? Check 4C home and have a great day. Happy Yom HaAtzmut. If you're at risk of vision loss from AMD, ask your eye care professional about the 4C home AMD monitoring program. It could possibly save your sight. Well, that was really awesome, but wait for my next meeting. Rulik, welcome to Associated Poslans. Hello, can you tell me anything about Israeli medical innovations? Huh? You want to know about Israel's medical innovations? Try Google Rewalk. I Google Rewalk, and that's what I found. After being paralyzed for the past 20 years, Radi Kaouf begins to walk down a street in Israel to the sound of a dim mechanical hum. This is the sound of an electronic exoskeleton developed by a small Israeli high-tech company propelling the 41-year-old paraplegic down the street with a proud expression on his face. The device called Rewalk is the brainchild of engineer Amit Gopher, founder of Argo Medical Technology. Then I met Mr. Jocelyn. Hello, Mr. Jocelyn. Hi, Sprulik. How are you? Did you hear about Rewalk? It's amazing. Oh, check Lee. 
Nothing wrong with being alone. Ready. It's called a rewalk. Some guy in Israel invented it. I can't use it all the time, but check me out. I love Glee. I love Glee. I love Glee. And that's not all. I found out that Israeli doctors in the Vopson Center in Tel Aviv created an organization called Such Save a Child Home. They perform over 2,900 heart surgeries to children with heart disease in developing countries all over the world. Let's take a look. These children look happy, healthy, and active. But just weeks ago, each one of them faced death. They needed open heart surgery, and they got it through Save a Child's Heart in Israel. The idea behind Save a Child's Heart is to provide life-saving heart surgery for children from developing countries. That was the case with Esther, a Christian from the Maasai tribe in Tanzania. Rheumatic fever damaged her heart, and she couldn't get the necessary help in her own country. She became the 2500th patient of Save a Child's Heart. Her heart was huge. She was very limited in a very simple uh, task. Even simple walking, it was uh, uh, difficult for her. Sister Angelica runs the children's home where Esther lives. She heard about the program from a volunteer who just happened to be riding the same bus from Kenya to Tanzania. Angelica contacted Save a Child's Heart and learned a team was actually heading to Tanzania to climb Mount Kilimanjaro two days later. One of the doctors, Dr. Godwin Godfrey, is Tanzanian. Actually, for me, it looks like a miracle. They met Esther, saw she needed surgery urgently, and two months later, she was in Israel. Dr. Lior Sasson operated for hours, reconstructing the valve in Esther's heart. Now she can live a normal life. She Executive Director Simon Fisher says more than 50 percent of the children treated have been Palestinian from the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. We believe that Save a Child's Heart has a very positive message which it sends out from Middle East, from Israel, about people working together from different nationalities and different religions for the best of our children. Before and after surgery, the children live in this house, usually with the parent or caregiver. House mother Laura Cassis says the change in the children is amazing. You see the children going home healthy. You know, you see children that sometimes can barely walk, practically running to the gate and to the minibus to go to the airport, and they're smiling and they're looking forward to going home. And you know that they have a future. Less than two weeks after her surgery, Esther was dancing with her newfound friend, Julie Stahl, CBN News, Halon, Israel. And it went on and on, and I found out that Israel is recognized in the world as a leading source of knowledge and innovation in the field of on-the-ground medicine. But that we said 15 minutes, and we're almost there. So remember, Israel is an amazing country with lots of smart people in lots of fields. Or as we say in Hebrew, Harosha Yehudi Mamzila Nu Patentim, which means that, well, you understand. I don't have to translate that to you. I hope you enjoy the presentation. I surely enjoy my short visit. Poslands rocks! Yeah! It rot! <laughs> Thank you.